Love on the phone. And today, I welcome you to the Bible Talk Show with our series called God's Characteristics. And today, we're going to be doing E3, number 36, mm-hmm. that God reads, just like us. Yeah. And uh, we'll let Minister Love start us off. And thank you for being with us today. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sister Sandy and social media audience for joining us today. And so like Sandy said, we're looking at God's characteristics. And that's a very interesting one today. He grieves. Yep. God grieves. Sandy, when you think of the word grieve, what comes to mind? How would you define grief? Well, I would say uh, suffering, pain, Mm -hmm. loss. Yeah, just really a person that's really uh, distraught, unhappy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But notice what you said. Someone that's unhappy, distraught. And that can be applied to God? Now, I, I can understand with people, but we're talking about the creator. He can be unhappy? Wow. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what scriptures can show us that God does feel unhappy, dissatisfied, displeased with his creatures. Let's take a look to Genesis chapter six. And I'm going to read verse six. Okay. All right. right. Now we know what's going on here. The wickedness of mankind and the flood ain't happened yet. Look what happens. I'm going to do uh, five and six. And, okay. and God saw that the what wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's enough right there in that scripture to make me even feel uncomfortable. Look what happens. Verse six says, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it did what? Grieved him. And where was God grieved? What was the Lord grieved? At his heart. What? The heart? Now I know when I get bad news, Sandy, something happened in my life. I mean, I start tensing up, heart start palpating. We're talking about God's heart. Right. And it was nothing God did. It was the wickedness of the man that he had made that was doing it. Correct. Yeah, he was so disappointed. Yeah. What he had made was wicked. Yeah. So just think of that today. Now we're saying when he first made man way back then, 6,000 years ago, you know, uh, religiously speaking. But think of today. We're now in the 2000s. And we still see the wickedness of man. How do you think God is responding? How is his heart taking what's going on to, in the world today? All the hate, all the bigotry, all the uh, the racism, all the, the corruption, all the violence. How do you think that's affecting God's heart? Oh, he's so grieved. Yes. I can imagine yeah. uh, how he feels. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So God is affected by what we do. So this is why this is why we want to stay on on the grace of God. Bring God joy in the morning. Be in His Word. Learn His Word and do His Word. I don't want to hurt God. I don't want to give God no heart attack. I want God to be on no a high blood pressure pills. Can I get an amen? That's true. Are you seeing this? It's so happy. Yeah. Let's take a look at another scripture and and let's see, because we're talking about God now. We're talking about our Heavenly Father, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, and we're seeing that he goes through the same emotions that we go through. No wonder we was made in his image. Right. That's right. Are you seeing this? Right. Psalms 95. Sister Sandy, we're going to have you to read Psalms 95, verse 10, and share with us your thoughts on this text based on what we're talking about. Forty years long was I grieved for this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, mm-hmm. and they have not known my ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we're talking about forty years mm-hmm. of the people not doing God's ways. Mm-hmm. Wow. They're out there doing idols yeah. and other things rather mm-hmm. than 
and his heart is really, really grieved over these people. Mm -hmm. His chosen people. So here we have another scripture, and and this and this is God speaking through this psalmist, expressing that he. He was grieved when they was out there, when the children of Israel was out there in that wilderness for 40 years with Moses and Aaron now, acting a fool, right. making that golden calf, right. worshiping them idols that they had back in Egypt. And for they could have been in the promised land 11 days. It took them 40 years. So God was grieved with them 40 years. He was on a heart, heart uh, 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 situation for 40 years. What? Right, right. His heart was in danger for 40 years. And notice he said, the people. They are the ones that are making God grieve. God ain't making himself grieve. It's the people. The people. Because what, what did he say? He said, you know why God get grieved at his heart? You know what we don't do? We don't follow his ways. That's what we don't do. We don't want to get in the word of God. We don't want to study it. We don't want to believe it. We don't want to share it. So what do you think that's doing to God's heart? He's just grieved and he's just sad and he just doesn't understand. You know, he made mankind serve him and the majority of us don't. So, and all these years. Yeah. He said, they have not known my ways. That's just a lot, a lot of people today. They don't know this Bible from Genesis to Revelation. They don't know it. And a majority of the Christians don't care to know it. And we wonder why Chronicles tells us, if my people will what, humble themselves and turn from their what? Wicked ways. Because if you're doing God's ways, you ain't doing the wicked ways if you're doing God's way. Right. If you stay with God continuously, not in and out, this is an every day. Are you seeing this, Sandy? Yeah, because he loves us so much. Put up with us and and feel grief for all of these years. Mm -hmm. It's just, it just, it's. I don't make my heart so heavy just doing the study. It it just made me feel uh, a real heavy heart. Yeah. The study is. Um, Cannot imagine. Mm. It's, it's sort of like when Jesus suffered on the cross. Uh huh. Uh, we got God suffering because of us. Exactly. And and the ultimate suffering for years. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So notice what you just said. You said something important. You said it touches my heart. So if it affects your heart, we just learned that it affects God's heart. So his level of being affected is, you can't even measure the pain, the grief that he feels compared to our grief, because it's not even on a scale. You can't even measure it. We think our grief is something. Imagine God's grief. Wow. Are you seeing this? Almost 8 million people on this earth. Uh, that's giving him grief. But he still love us. Last scripture. Oh, we're going to love this scripture. We're going to go to Ephesians chapter four. four. And we're going to take a look at this grieving because if the grieving affects God the Father, you know it's going to affect someone else that's a part of him, right? Right. Let's take a look. Ephesians four. Sandy, read for us verse 30. Okay. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Wow. Oh, I love this scripture. Did you notice what Paul is telling the church people in Ephesus? He's writing to them. He says, and grieve not who? The Holy Spirit of God? Wait a minute. We already saw that God the Father grieves right. at his heart. Now we're seeing the Holy Spirit too? Right. Man, so we're affecting the whole triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When we don't want to listen to what's in this book and follow it, we are grieving them. 
I don't want to be part of the grieving when I get to heaven and I see the uh, 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 the Holy Spirit's EKG report and I'm part of it. Wow. Are you seeing this? Yeah. This, this is a powerful lesson for you really to um, understand that you yeah. What what's going on? Mm -hmm. yeah, like. And and look what he says. This is how we know. Don't grieve him. Look what he says in verse thirty one. I'm gonna read thirty one. Look what he says. Paul tells us this is how we don't grieve the Holy Spirit. He says what? Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking. That's a lot of things. He said, let all of that be what? Put away from you with, uh, uh wait a minute, Paul, I guess Paul must have forgot one. He had to add this one at the end. He says, with all what? Malice. So now you got bitterness, you got wrath, you got anger, you got clamor, which is another word for outburst, and you got evil speaking, and you got malice. You, that's today. That's happening right now in the world today. Yeah. We're grieving God and the Holy Spirit right now. Wow. In the world, turn on the news. Just turn on the news. Turn on your phone. On the news on the phone, on your lap, whatever. You're going to see all of this right now. God yeah. is being grieved. Yeah. Okay, all day long. That's all they talk about. And who do you think is part of it? These so-called Christians. Correct. Paul is talking to the Christians. He ain't talking to the uh, to the uh, government. Mm -hmm. He's talking to the church folks. Right. We're the one. We so-called Christians, the faithful. They're the one that's out there uh, uh, causing all this upheaval with their rhetoric. But you get behind, but when the church doors open, you the first one in there hollering, thank you, Jesus. But you just hated your brothers on the outside. Right, right. Okay. Seriously? And you think you doing God a favor? You're grieving him. That's what you're doing. And that's why God is getting ready to bring down up on this earth, just like he did back in Genesis. That's right. Wow. Look what he says in verse 32. We got another minute. All right. Paul says, and be what? See, we got to, after we get rid of all the other stuff, he said, now you get to be what? Kind to one another. Right. I don't care who you are, where you live. If you're in Australia, Mexico, Canada, America, Europe, it don't matter where you are and who you are. You got to be what? Kind to one another. Tenderhearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God, for Christ's sake, has what? Forgiven you. If God had not forgiven us, God would have had a heart attack a long time ago. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't be here. He would not be here. So what makes us think we're different from God? That we can't go around and forgive somebody and then turn around and love them. Right. Hey, we got to end right there. Wow, what a great uh, Bible talk show today. Woo. Wasn't it good? Hey, all right then. Well, hey, listen, I'm Minister Love with Sister Sandy on the other end. Hey, join us at SourceOutreachMinistries.com and you can join us at MyBibleRegistration.com and we got a new website coming up. Ain't gonna spill the beans yet, but we got another one coming up soon. We will let you know when it comes out. All right then. God bless. I'm Minister Love. Join us next week right here on the Bible Talk Show. God bless. God bless.